So the metro ticket was a clue. Just a short walk and here I am. It's the place in the photograph. I wonder what's behind those walls. Excuse me. Yes? I was wondering if you could answer a few questions for me. I don't think so. Oh, that's a shame. I was praying that you would. Were you now? Praying sincerely? Well, I didn't do the whole on the knees number. Hmm. All right. Since you have at least tried to ask nicely, I shall spare you a couple of minutes. So, what's a nun like you doing in a place like this? Was that meant to be a joke? Well, it didn't start out as one, but I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. I don't like jokes. What? Never? Jokes distract from the pursuit of inner peace. Oh. Heard the one about the actress and the bishop? No! And I don't want to. You're lost, sister. Sister Angelica to you. So, what do you do here? I have pastoral responsibility for the nuns. Any problems and they come to me. So, what is this place? None of your business. Oh, come on. It's not like it's the secret headquarters of an evil mastermind. Have you ever seen this woman before? No, never. Are you sure? This looks like it was taken outside the doorway to the Holy Order. Are you calling me a liar? No, sorry. I was just... If you must know, I haven't been here for very long. Perhaps she was before my time. Well, thank you for your time. My pleasure. Looks like some kind of schedule. The nun's looking at it every now and then. Just what do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted one of those tissues on your desk. Did it not occur to you to ask? <laughs> Sneeze first, ask questions later. <laughs> That's what I was taught. The plaque reads, Monastery of the Order of St. Michael. So this place is a monastery? The possibility of Anna Maria being a nun is becoming all too real. Hello? Ah, yes. I was wondering if you could help me. I'll do my best. I'm Sister Serena. How can I help? Can you tell me, have you seen this woman before? Hmm, I don't recognize the face, but I've only been here for about a year. Maybe she was here before my time. Maybe? What can you tell me about the Holy Order of St. Michael? Why, you're talking to one of its sisters. So this building is part of the same place as the Holy Order? That's correct, even though we are a separate entity. We fall under the umbrella of the Holy Order of St. Michael. And what a beautiful umbrella that must be. It's not a real umbrella. Oh. That's just a way of speaking. Sure. Perhaps you can tell me, what is this place? Why, we're the Sisters of Mercy Communion Wafer Supplies. We've been making communion wafers for over 70 years. The ladies of the wafer, they call us. Ah, so you make the little wafers that people eat in church. We prefer to think of them as humble slivers of bread, transformed through the miracle of transubstantiation, into the body and blood of Christ himself. Yeah, that's what I meant. Well, thank you for your time. Pleasure. Oh, really? Yes. 
Of course. Of course. <laughs> hmm. Hello, Sister Angelica. You again. What is it this time? How long have you been making communion wafers? How did you know we made communion wafers? Uh, it says it in the guidebook. Hmm. Well, as it happens, we are the leading communion wafer developer in the world. Way to go! What can you tell me about the Holy Order of St. Michael? It's been established for hundreds of years. And this place is connected to the Order, correct? Yes. We are a subsidiary of the Holy Order. Now, if you don't mind, I must return to my work. Well, thank you for your time. My pleasure. Where should I go? I'll go back to Anna Maria's apartment. Got it. The number for the wafer factory is 0039-06-6981-5956. Hey, Nico, can you give me a hand? What do you need, George? Are those books interesting? Well, they are very technical. You know, George, things just don't add up. Are those books interesting? Well, they are very technical. You know, Georges, things just don't add up. A map of Topkapi Palace. Where should I go? I think I'll go to the Vatican. Communion wafer supplies. Sister Serena speaking. How may I help you? 
Um, I would like to speak to a Sister Angelica of the Sisters of Mercy, please. Certainly. Who may I say is calling? It's Brother Angus from St. Peregrine's, please. Just one moment, please. Sister Angelica, phone call. It's her schedule for the day. Hmm. Looks like the health inspector's coming. Here she is. Time to put this back where I found it. Hello, Sister Angelica. You again. What is it this time? Right? My name is Henry Steiner, and I am the health inspector. But, uh, um, y you're not due to arrive until tomorrow. They fall for it every time. Um, this is highly irregular. We're not ready. You're supposed to be always ready. Let's see what your boss has to say. No, wait. <laughs> I'm sure it's all right. Um, come to the door at the side and I'll let you in. <laughs> Thank you so much, sister. The Sisters of Mercy welcome you, Mr. Steiner. You're in luck. We're just about to run a batch. My assistant, Sister Serena, will give you the tour. The complete tour, I hope? No exceptions? Of course. Follow me, please. I'd better keep Herr Steiner going till I can find a way through this place and into the monastery. This factory has been the center of wafer production in Rome for nearly 80 years now. In 2000, we decided to automate the process, hence the Communion Companion 5XLI. The Communion Companion 5XLI? Why, yes. Carry on. This machine has revolutionized our wafer production process and maximized output. First, the wafer ingredients are fed into the mixer to make the dough. The dough is then fed along the conveyor and into the cutter. From the cutter, the biscuits are... Stop! Oh. You said biscuits. I mean wafers. Yes, you do. Carry on. Oh. Anyway, the wafers are transferred to the ovens for baking. From the oven, they are cooled in the fresh air. Then the wafers are packed, ready for delivery all over the globe. Thank you for visiting the Sisters of Mercy and enjoy your stay in our beautiful city. This has been packed with communion wafers. That box looks like it's quite precariously balanced. One small movement, and it's going to fall. That pile of boxes is a health hazard. All it needs is one person to knock them over and there'll be wasted wafers everywhere. Please, make sure they're safe. Of course. I'll check them now. Serena's tidying the boxes. She's not interested in me for the moment. It's a half-packed box of communion wafers. Now they won't miss one. Sister Serena's watching me like a hawk. Or... A sparrow, maybe. There is no way I can do that. No, 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 no! That still won't do! Look how easily I can tip the boxes over. I'm sorry, Mr. Steiner. I'll get right on it. The lives of the innocent are in your hands, my dear. Yeah, it's wrong. But it feels so good, too.
This will shake her for a while. Sister Serena, could I see you here for a moment, please? What is that? Oh, my word. How on earth? I don't believe it. Section 12 of Bylaw 38B, Section C, clearly states that all areas for the packing of food must be kept separate from the areas of food consumption. I don't know how, or it could be, but I, I never... This is a clear violation, and the penalty for violations is severe. Please, please, let me clean it up. I'll double-check everything. I don't want to go back to polishing candlesticks. Ha! Polishing! You should be so lucky. We are talking prison here. Prison? Holy Mother! Oh, do stop that ridiculous display. But I feel so guilty. And you are. However... Yes? If you ensure there's not a scrap of food remaining, I might overlook the matter. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll get right on it. The place has to be spotless. Of course, of course. Will you be okay looking round on your own? Well, I shall just have to be. Fantastic. Now I've got the run of the place. says on the side, emergency communion pack, wafers and wine. Emergency pack? Strange concept. Who'd run out of wafers and wine? I'll have that. Thank you very much. It's a miniature bottle of red wine with a screw cap. Very classy. Just see into the mixing machine. Large blades are spinning and mixing a fresh batch of dough. I'm a naughty, 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 naughty health inspector. Now all I have to do is let it work its way through. I'm not going to stick my hand in there. I figure they aren't interested in new lines, especially not finger flavor. Now then, Sister Serena, the next batch is ready. I'm sure you appreciate perfection, Mr. Steiner. Oh, yes, but I rarely witness it. Outside my own bailiwick, of course. Bailiwick? Bless you. Hmm. Well, here we go. The next batch of classic wafers. So this is the color of perfection? Uh, 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 but uh, how could this happen? Two little words, Sister Angelica. Sloppy maintenance. But that machine is cleaned every day. 
In this case, it would seem, cleanliness is not next to godliness. I have no choice but to close this place down. Please, no! We have a large order to complete. Such a shame I was not made more welcome. Oh, Mr. Steiner, there must be something we can do. One so rarely hears the word sorry these days. Wouldn't you agree, sister? Sorry? Oh, I see. Mr. Steiner, I am very sorry for this terrible lapse. Hmm. Hmm. This feeling? Very, very sorry. Well, I suppose if you could fix it now, then I might overlook the issue. But it has to be spotless. <laughs> of course. You make yourself comfortable, and we'll knuckle down to it. It's locked, and I don't like the idea of climbing over it, not with those spikes. Gardens full of monks. The door's either very heavy or just locked. I'm sure it's the latter. Jackpot. 
hot. Mmm, plush. I'm in the wrong business. Interesting taste in paintings, too. Wow, a copy of Poussin's The Ark of Ashdod. That's a painting I studied in comparative religions back in Idaho. The Lord threw the people of Ashdod into despair. He plagued them with tumors and their cities swarmed with rats. No wonder they gave the ark back to the Israelites. The rancid corpse of mother and child. Another child still alive watches on. Well, this is terrible. The Lord threw the people of Ashdod into despair. The ark of the God of Israel must not stay here with us, because his hand is heavy upon us and upon Dagon, our God. They placed the ark in Dagon's temple. The next morning, the people of Ashdod saw the statue of Dagon fallen on his face on the ground before the ark of the Lord. The image of an angel carved into the frame sits serenely at the bottom right of the painting. There's a large crack around her neck. Now why carve that? It's a file with Anna Maria's name written on the front. What do you think you're doing? Office supplies, uh, routine follow-up. Uh, gotta make sure you got no problem with the drawers. What? Monsignor Devlin. Anyhow, uh, these look tip-top to me. Well done. Would you like to comment on our after-sales service? You called your eminence. Escort this gentleman to the street. I believe he is lost. Oh, uh, one last thing. What do you know about Anna Maria? What? Get him out of here now. And make sure these doors are locked so this doesn't happen again. Ah, Father Gregor. His eminence, is he? A storm in a teacup, Father. Office supplies. Was that the best you could come up with? Stinks, huh? What are you now? A journalist? A lawyer. And your connection with this Anna Maria? I knew in New York some people were trying to kill her. Extraordinary. I know. The Mafia, would you believe? Anyhow, I heard she worked here. Tell him, Monsignor. Anna Maria was indeed part of our order. She worked here in the library. Two years ago, she stole some manuscripts and disappeared. And the scandal was kept out of the papers. The Cardinal was furious. He vowed to find her and bring her to justice. His wrath is most terrible to behold. Yeah, most terrible, all right. We have always feared the worst, the poor misguided child. But there can be no place for scandal here, sir. Here, my card. Oh, but please, no publicity. I understand. Goodbye, Father. Monsignor, goodbye. So, I'm a little closer to knowing what's going on. And at least Anna Maria wasn't officially a nun when we... Uh, time to get back to Nico. <laughs> 